Hi, I'm Andrew with Baker's Gas. We're here today with the ESOB uh, EM210. So this little unit here uh, it came out, and in this video we're going to discuss uh, the options that it comes with, all the accessories, the price, and where it compares in the marketplace uh, today. So to dive right in, what this unit comes with, we got it out of the box. Um, came with gas hose, Tweco ground pump, um, a Tweco MIG gun, the adapter cord to go to 220 or 110. So we have it plugged in the uh, 220 right now. And then this is just the adapter cord for it. Comes with an extra drive roll, V-neural drive roll, and then a spool of wire. You get a couple extra contact tips, some O-rings for your MIG gun, and the instruction manual, and then just a quick setup guide on how to go. And it also comes with a Victor regulator. So for your uh, NERC gas 7525, so to jump into the features on this unit, um, so th this is going to compete in the marketplace of uh, in a competitor at the price point that it's at. So it's roughly one thousand ninety nine dollars. So at that price point, it's going to compete with uh, machines from other suppliers, such as like Harbor Freight, that sort of thing. So th this is getting into the market, but it still stands behind it. Um, ESOP does three year warranty on this unit, so if anything does break, it's still under warranty. So, to jump into some of the features on the front, we'll turn the unit on. What I want to show everybody on the back of this thing, so you can see we have the on off switch here, got our cord, but notice the, the selector switch for the, what voltage we're running. So, we're hooked up to 230, and then you can flip it up to 120 if you're going to go to 110. So, it doesn't have an auto feature where it recognizes the voltage but it has a manual feature so you got to remember to do that now just to show you what it does so if we flip that back around we got our voltage and our wire feed speed but if I take that little switch and go to 120 we're gonna get an error code so I flipped it up to 120 now it knows that there's not 120 hooked to this machine so it's saying there's an error somewhere so we flip it back down comes right back on. so kind of a unique thing to this but that's what made it fall into this price point because it didn't have that technology to auto recognize the voltage. I don't see a big deal with it. I think it's actually pretty cool. You just have to know which voltage you're running. So, so to jump into some of the features, so we've got our regular, it's an LCD display, nice clear crisp green display. It's, it's, it's very nice. Um, then we have our voltage adjustment, wire feed speed, amperage adjustment. Now this unit is just a MIG unit only, but we can put a spool gun on it and run an aluminum spool gun with this unit as well. Um, so to jump into some hidden features, push and hold that button down. Well, now we got our run-in value, which is factory set at 50. We have our pre-gas flow, which is at 0.2. That's for our, our pre-gas on our mid-gun. Oh, now it'll time out on that, so you saw that happen. We have our burn back, 0.02, and that's just factory set. We're gonna leave it all at that. And then it's down again, hold on. And then we have our post gas flow, so at 0.5, that's factory. And we'll just leave it all at that as well. And then jump over to this button here, push and hold. It's gonna give our inductance, which is factory set at five. And un inductance is just the, the rate at which the machine is burning back the wire um, as it's coming out. So it's just a nominal setting on the five, but it goes up to nine and down to one. We're gonna leave that five, hit that button again. We get our trigger. So we got a two tap trigger or a four tap. So it's actually just trigger hold. So two taps, you pull it and, and it's well, and then when you let go, it does it well. If you go to a four, four tap trigger, you hit the button, that's two. And then the, it welds and you, to shut it off, you gotta hit the trigger again one more time. So just some of the different features on that unit. Uh, we'll get out of that menu here. It'll time out. So let's get some wire in this thing. We're gonna weld with it today. Um, I'll get it all hooked up here. All right, so to jump into the side panel here, um, label down there, open, close, just pull down, door opens. Uh, we're gonna get the MIG wire in there set up. So it uh, gives you a nice chart on the inside, just telling you what mild steel, stainless steel, aluminum on the spool gun only. Gives you some parameters, some setup, different gate, you know, uh, material thickness and then what to set it at, wire feed speed and voltage. So to go into this, so this cabinet fits a 10 or 11 pound spool of wire. Um, that's why it has the big reel on there, but it comes with a one pound spool or two pound spool of wire. So what we're gonna do, I'll show you how to take that out, um, take this big spool off. So what you do is take that wing nut, 
off. And then you just pull that out. Now there's a series of parts that come on there. So that just comes right off there. But you notice this is slotted. These washers are have a, a keeper key already built in there. So they can only go on one way. But how they go is we washer, spring, washer. So washer on the back, spring in the middle, another washer on top of the spring, and then the wing nut goes against one of the washers. So just, just so it lays out for you, just to give you a good picture, pop that wire in there. Then what we do is put that back on, washer, spring, washer, the wing nut on there. So there you go. Now you're set up with the Aristo rod. Now this is a bare wire, um, bare MIG wire, so it's not copper coated, um, but it runs pretty darn good. So we're gonna, I'll get this all cut. We'll get it fed through there. But just on the inside, just to touch on the, you got the dry roll system. You got your tensioner there. Pop it down. It's on spring loaded. Pops up, and then to change out your drive rolls. It's really pretty simple. Take that off and then the drive roll just comes out. Now notice this is slotted as well, so it only goes on there one way. And it goes back on there. Pretty simple, So, and it's got gas solenoid, as we know, because we got the gas hooked up over here. So let me pull that out, and we'll get the wire going here. All right, so let's give this thing a shot here. 18 and a half volts, 280 inches on the wire feed speed. Uh, so just to make a note on the, on the MIG gun that this thing comes with, so same MIG gun as the, uh, the higher grade machines as the ESOP 205, uh, so it's a Fusion 180 MIG gun, so all Tweco consumables, Victor regulator, so very name brand stuff, all under warranty, nice stuff. So let's give this thing a shot and uh, try it. Let's just try some. We had a lot of spatter, so let's just turn our inductance up to nine here. We were at five. Give it a shot. So about the same a beat appearance, but the inductance was turned up a lot less spatter. Very nice weld. For the machine and for the, the price point, boy, it welds really nice. Now, um, now you will notice though the fan it doesn't intermittently cycle, so it's on all the time. So that's not a problem. That's standard. But with that price point machine, the fan's going to be on all the time because it doesn't have the technology to off cycle that fan on and off. So kind of a um, it's it's kind of loud, but it's not too bad. It, it's it's really pretty pretty quiet so if you're in the shop or in your garage or something working I, I don't think it's going to be a big factor but um, other than that it welds great yeah so this unit at the price point of 1099 now they do make an EMP which is a multi-process unit so take and stick uh, stay tuned for another video on that that's coming up uh, but I'll link it all below um, so all the consumable kits because they're going to be the same as what the rebel would have right because it's all the same consumables contact tips nozzles diffusers everything like that so we'll link all that stuff below um, some of the cons on this unit are that at, on 110 we're at 220 obviously so we're going to get 210 amps that's our max output on this unit but if we go to 110 it drops to 140 amps so we're, we're, we're kind of limited if we're on 110 as opposed and plus you need a good circuit on 110 so i recommend a 20 amp breaker on 110. Um, to run this thing off a generator, you're gonna need an 8,800 watt generator, continuous wattage generator to run this unit off a portable generator. Now, it's IP21 rated, so it's not as durable as like say the Rebel 205, um, as far as water resistant or drop resistant, that sort of thing. Um, so it's more of a home hobby unit, but in that price point, man, it welds good. And I, I for the price range, I'd say that's, that's really a nice unit. Um, it's very simple and for beginner people or just home hobby people I think it'd be perfect for that but thanks again for watching all these videos um, I got a couple more coming out and uh, thanks again for watching stay tuned for more